Okay, it's 11 o'clock, so let's get started. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, welcome everybody. I think we got about 15, 16, 17 people on. Uh, this will be fun. Uh, I'm Ken Lee, and I uh, just wanted to kind of go over a couple ground rules. Uh, I, it was part of the event I sent out just to everyone who knows. Um, you're welcome to come and go as any time just by dro dropping off the VASA link if you're an observer. If you're a player and need to go, just let me know and we'll uh, reassign your command. Um, I think everybody's in the room. Uh, just I think everybody's already doing this. If if you're not talking, uh, go ahead and just mute your um, mute your Skype so we don't have a lot of background noise. And so what we're going to use the Skype for is to uh, have any common communications. So basically, the way these multiplayer rules go is we're going to roll the initiative, and whoever gets the initiative, the overall commander will either take the initiative themselves or defer one to one of their commanders, and then those commanders will basically defer back, uh, either either take the initiative and move and move, or defer back to the overall commander. And then if somebody defers, then the overall commander can select another. Uh, player to take the initiative and so once you get the initiative you can go unmute yourself uh, and say yeah, I'll take the initiative and describe generally what you're doing for everybody and I think that'll work fine uh, I see a lot of people are already private messages on on Skype that's fine um, as well as on the vassal module if you want to you want to type uh, just general generally type in the chat uh, for general conversation both observers and players you're welcome to do that and then what we're going to do is commanders will private message message with one another within their side by using the private messenger on Vassal. And the only rule we have is that once your side has the initiative, you can no longer send a private message. So once we have the initiative, I can't say, well, Reno, go to hex 3223. That's going to be up to my, uh, my subordinate commanders. So... With that, have we covered everything, right? I mean, uh, Clyde? Um, yes, I'd like to put my general opening order somewhere, and we haven't really decided on where we're going to put it. Uh, why don't you put it in the public uh, mess place in the notes? So okay. the union so go will after. Use the, yeah, we'll use the union. The union posted theirs in the scenario, and uh, you can just take down everything I already posted there and post your orders in the public section and the com right. confederate commanders will and the union commanders will not look at it unless we find your your orders wrapped in his cigars so <laughs> okay so are we ready clyde i, I think so okay uh, i don't i don't think there are any special rules for initiative right we're just going to roll initiative and go hey, yeah, we're starting up I've posted the orders in the public section, removing your orders for turn one. Hey, for hey, uh, want to follow along, and I'll unmute and we'll go from there. I'd rather mute and we'll go from there. Hey, uh, Clyde and Ken. Yes, John. Uh, for the folks that uh, are new, which I don't know how many people are or aren't, do we want to kind of review what the uh, scenario does? Uh, sure, I'll do it. Um, first of all, can I ask everybody to mute their microphone? because we're getting some back and that's perfect uh so the scenario is basically uh if you if you look at the vassal you've got there's three hexes there's actually five hexes which are bordered the gray hex over here below jackson in uh grove groveton is a major objective that the union is trying to get into or next to they also have haymarket and gainesville are also their objectives less a fewer number of points there but they have to hold on to there the other way to gain points is out here to the east there's a couple railway stations uh burke station and vienna station that if the confederates destroy or damage they get a couple points for that uh the total number of points that confederates got to get is 25 so um in a big picture term They've kind of got to get the Union away from all three of the victory point hexes to get enough to win or beat up badly enough on the Union to win. Does that describe it right, Clyde? Uh, yes. Okay. It's um, There's no cat and mouse here. No, no doubt about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So with that, I'm going to roll an initial. 
Oh, leader initiative, transfers. Yes. Initi I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, anybody have any leader transfers? Um, I think we do. Okay. Is this a is this a homegrown scenario or is it in the uh, rule book? It's Page uh, forty six. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Russ, I sent you an email. Um, or you can go to the notes section and look under public, and you'll see some general notes there. Okay, Clyde, thank you. Okay, has everyone done their leader transfer? I'm assuming you have, so I'm going to roll an initiative. Okay, Clyde? I, I'm, just give me one second. I'm not sure what Jackson's going to do there. I just wanted to make sure that oh, he's, okay. apparently he's just a tiny bit behind. I'm sorry. He's right. I'm just a tiny bit behind. Just a second. It's all that screaming. You got to lighten up. Okay, we've had a leader transfer. I need a leader trim. Okay, now can I roll the initiative? Yes, sir. We're going to make all the first rolls can uh, uh, union. Union first and confederate the second die. Always. Okay. Thank you. So I will roll. Uh, and confederate has the initiative. All right, we're going to ask Joe, Mr. Longstreet, to have his to have a go. Okay. So I just wanted to give us some historical data there. Anderson is de um, deliberately out of range. Um, he was uh, coming up in the rear with the uh, wagon train. Um, it took me a long, long time to find out where he, where he actually was. And I finally, after years of research, <laughs> of looking for it in books, I found out that's where he was. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thanks. So, Joe, are you going to move now? Yeah. I'm, I'm activating Longstreet at six moves. Yes, right. You want to help me? Want me to put, I, I'll put a fatigue on for you, Joe. Oh, okay. I, as I said, oh, I didn't say that. D.R. Jones first. And he is going to 3 MP. Why didn't the fatigue marker move with him? There we go. Okay. Okay, so he's next to Buford. So we've got a cavalry retreat decision by uh, Jeff. All right, Buford will uh, retreat. So, let's roll a die. If I'm going to roll a D6. Okay, so uh, a six. <clears throat> you lose three, Joe, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, do, do I do I lose a manpower value for a six? No, no, no. only one. Uh, okay, so uh... okay, so I will retreat to twenty-eight twenty-three. There we go. <clears throat> okay, and uh, I go to uh, F one and just. Yep. And flip. One. And flip. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, Joe. Okay, I will. I have one MP remaining with Jones, and I think I'll get off the road so I won't block the road. And continue with Hood, who has six, six movement points. There stays within range of Long Street on to Wilcox. Did he really have a movement point remaining? He had six. Oh, wait. He lost three movement points, so he did not have a movement point remaining, right? He lost one. No, he lost three, and he had six total. And he had expended three, so you're right. He actually blocks the road. Am I correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, so one, two. Oh, wow, we'd have to spend two more to get in that hex. It's more than 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hood would end up... In thoroughfare gap, mm -hmm. Wilcox ends up in the same hex as Long Street, as does the rest of the stack. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me move Kemper into the stack. Yeah, he, okay. okay. Go, go ahead. Okay, he ends up in the same hex with Lee and Long Street, and that's it. Hold on. <clears throat> I can't seem to get his... God, there we go. Okay. 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 I'm done. Okay, you can roll the initiative, uh, Mr. Uh, General Lee. Clyde. That's uh, yours again. Joe, you want to go one more time? Sure. Okay. Long Street again. Ooh. That, the Evans counter is a little out of order on the stack there. Yeah. Okay, Lee and Longstreet to Hood. Go to fatigue two. Can you all see what I'm doing? Yes. Okay, so Hood is going to expend four movement points to get to Haymarket. So the way I like to do it, Joe, is just to go each hex one at a time so we can okay. see. So sure. we know what you're doing, just, just so you can see you marching along. One, two, three, four, four Perfect. movement points left. And he can do a um, prepared attack against Shank, uh, which I will now do. Okay. So the ratio, unfortunately, is... Should I be typing this in? No, just, just no. say it. Okay. Ratio is minus one, unfortunately. But the prepared offset. Uh, I, I, I need to, Joe, let me butt in just for a moment, if I may. Sure. sure. Um, you have gone to fatigue two, right? Oh, who is so we're gonna, we, before you know. attack, we should really, we should really find out if he's going to lose anybody or anything. I didn't even notice. So let me make the, um, the uh, uh, extended uh, mark roll. Right. He's okay. All right. Yeah, I don't want. I don't. I don't want to butt in if I don't have to. I don't want. Well, I don't want glad to you did. I, I didn't. Yeah, know I still want to break your train of thought. Is all. Yeah. I still don't see Evans in the right spot, but I guess I'll get to that. Um, okay. So the ratio 
and the prepared attack offset one another, but the tactical value of four for Longstreet is uh, plus three over Shank. And it looks like your artillery value is going to be a minus one for me. So I think I may have this right. It's a plus two attack. Any corrections? Zeke, is that right? That looks correct to me. All right. Yeah, so the, the prepared and the yes. uh, ratio offset, plus three for tactical, minus one for artillery. Yes, sir. Okay, so plus two attack, I'll roll. Oh, boy. Wow. So six. that ends up being a plus six for me, right? Mm -hmm. Plus six is... Um, it's two DR. Two DR and an A for me. So Shank uh, loses two and is routed. You can take care of that, Zeke? Yeah, yeah, I'm going through it now. Okay, so that's the end of my retreat there. Okay, I think, um, I think I'm going to throw it into the hex. I think I'm being a little daring here, but I do want to open up the road. So for my next activation, DR Jones, who has to also make... An extended mark roll. I'm doing it now. Uh-oh. Disorganized. Okay, he has eight, eight movement points. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have one moving point remaining. There would be a cavalry retreat situation here with one moving point remaining with Bayard. Um, I don't, I guess I should ask the commander about that. Uh, Jeff, do you want to retreat? There's also a, there's also Union infantry there too. Yeah, no, no, no cavalry for Bayard. He'll hold. Okay, I have one movement point left, so I could do a two to one attack, but it would be a hasty attack. But a nice. Um, hmm. You know? What the heck? I think I should be aggressive here. I think I will do a hasty attack. Now, oh, wait a minute. Because you have artillery, it would be a minus two plus one plus two plus three. No, I won't attack, and I'll hold. Okay, next guy, Wilcox, extended north. Oh boy. He's also disorganized. Not marching too well. So. One, two, three. Are you seeing this okay? Yes. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
Okay, now camper. Extended march roll. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. I'm going to move him into Lee's hat. Okay, put him at fatigue two. Extended march for Evans. Okay. One, two, three, four. Moving into the rolling hex, seven MP, and I think I'll put a flanks refuse marker on him if I can find one. There we go. Oh, you're so you're totally right. I cannot. That's it. I'm done. Well done, Joe. Thank you. Um, roll for an initiative. All right. This time it goes to the bad guys. I'll give it to Zeke. Okay. Uh, let me just take a look at this real quick. All right, I'm going to uh, use McDowell to activate King and Ricketts. All right, so that's a total of five movement for both of them. So is that it, Chat? So you can do uh, that's it. There. I'll stop okay. it. Yeah. I'll roll initiative. Jackson, which is Russ. Are you ready? Yes. I will activate Jackson, um, AP Hill, and um, you will. Here's the roll. Okay, here's the initiative roll. You want to keep going, Mr. Jackson? I'll activate Jackson. Okay. 
just talk. <laughs> Here's the initiative roll. Okay. Um, I will take the initiative and move Hooker. See how far. Um, see how far Hooker goes. He goes five. Becomes a six. One, two, three, and we'll stop in the Zoc. Initiative. Uh, ours again. Hooker will move again. See how far he goes. Two becomes a three. One, two, And he's going to have to roll for a disorganization roll here. It's one, it's one, two, three to there. Disorganization roll. Six, he flips. Okay, I'll roll initiative. That's Confederates. All right, um, Jackson, can you go one more time? Okay, Hill rolls for extended rush. One, two, three. Hill makes, um, let's see, five, six, seven. I have four more points left. I'm going to make a prepared attack. On the gains of heck. All right. Um, Bayard has an option, though, prior to this attack. Yes, he does. And Bayard will hold again. Thank okay. you. Okay, the ratio is 18 against 5 for plus 2, plus 1 for um, prepared attack. Plus two for leadership. One point to four. I think that's zero in rolling, isn't it? I think you're in plus five on the whole attack, right? Yes. That's a plus five. I wanted to verify the earthquake. Okay, so it's a plus five attack. Here is the roll. Lord have mercy. Plus 10. No, plus 9. Plus 9. Only plus 9. Pl plus 9. It's the 3DR star. All right, so I've got to retreat these guys for, um, I guess I have to move through Tal Pharaoh's zone of control. So is that is that one that will incur a manpower loss? No. No, he's on a road. Not along the road. Yeah, you're along the road. Okay, that's it for the retreat then. Rats. 
All right, Tolliver rolls for extended march. Pants. Okay, moving to here. I'm not moving to zone of control, to zone of control. Why should they do that? One, two, three. They'll make a hasty attack against that stack. So it's my one hasty attack. The ratio is 10 to 1 for plus 9. And there's plus 2 for leadership. There's no artillery. So we have plus 10. I, I would point out that we have a, uh, a cavalry retreat option. Thank you. Jeff? All right, the, uh, the Cav will retreat this time. So I will roll a d6. <laughs> We're getting robbed with the uh, die rolls, that's for sure. So do we even need to do this attack? I think we just take both those units off. I'll formally uh, surrender Milroy to you here. <laughs> All right. You will make some extended march roll. That concludes my turn. Thank you for the patience. Right, um, initiative. Back Here's to the back. Hooker. Hooker will take the initiative, and he's simply going to put a flags refuse marker on his unit. And he has to roll for disorganization and initiative. Okay, now I will give it to. Um, Jeff. Okay, I will. Ferraro and Steven Jufrino. So, uh, roll a D6 for the movement. Six movement points. Okay, so I think uh, with six points, I can get Stevens into 33, 23. I think it's five movement points to move into a, a, a hex, yeah. So uh, Stevens will go to F1 and move over to 33, 23. And no attack, I'll end. So I will roll initiative. That's Confederates. Hey, Joe, you up for a little fun? I am. Am I ready? Yes, sir. Okay. You've been called to, you have been called to task. All right. Um, Longstreet is going to assault or attempt an assault on shirts with both divisions in his ex, Kemper and Hood. So I will 
I will now increase their fatigues. And I will make Long Street Assault roll. Six minus four is two, so both units can go in. So that is successful. Yes, sir. Uh, and Lee is going to attempt a grand assault to try to put in AP Hill. So let me ro roll for grand assault right now. That too is successful. Sorry, I grabbed some of Jackson's four. So AP Hill's fatigue goes up. Um, the ratio is 36 to seven or five to one. Plus four for that. I believe the flank attack is plus one. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's right. So that would be a plus six. Uh, the tactical is plus three, so that would be a plus nine. The assault is plus one. Do I get an extra something for Longstreet in this game? No, sir, but you will for Lee. Lee. And there's a Lee. designer benefit. There's a designer benefit of plus three. Um, <laughs> that was negotiated with Ken Lee prior to the game starting. I don't recall I that. I think I have to write this down. I'm not sure um, I can remember it all. Um, Paul, I agree with you. I was gonna. I was gonna jump in on that. Um, I don't see the flank. It would normally be a plus four since all six taxes are covered. But he has three adjacent friendly units. I guess I have to roll a die for the artillery, right? And I just rolled a three for the artillery, which means it is. I do not get the benefit. So. Overall is, by my count, correct me if I'm wrong, it's plus 10. I Sounds right. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. I guess the dice are with us today. So it's plus 13. Well, it's the max column. So it's an A for me, and it's a um, 5DR. DR with a 2. Boy, I'm getting lucky with the die rolls. So I guess I would retreat to Ferrero's hex first? Does that seem correct? You could go either into Ferrero, Reno, or the uh, blank refuse. Okay, so I'll go Ferrero. Oh, takes all stack. Mm -hmm. Good point. Okay. And thank you. Sec second hex could be to uh, 3223. Yes. Okay, and then I'll just continue on down the road here then. So that's two so far. I think I have to go four. So I'll drop them uh, back to here with the other routed units. Okay, that should be good now. Okay, and I think I'll advance Kemper into the hack. And that's it for me. Okay, there you go. Ours. Huh. Um... At this point, I'm going to see. I will move Kearney and I will bring him up. And he's actually within command radius of Reno or Heitzelman. So see how far he goes. He goes one becomes two. Um, I 
Go to there. Initiative. Confederates. Let's let Jackson have a go then. Jackson would prefer not to take the initiative. Joe, why don't you take the initiative then? Okay, Anderson. Or MP. Still don't know how to do a fatigue mark, but um, I got it for you. Okay. Okay, that's it. Rolling it. Okay. You can. Uh, um, I will give it to, uh, Zeke. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use McDowell to activate Ricketts and try to assault Evans. Uh, so I'll advance his fatigue here. And then this is the command roll. Okay. So I think this is going to be, uh, the odds are plus two, the assault is plus one. Nothing for artillery, so I think the end result, if you agree, is a plus three. Yes. Okay, all right, I'll go ahead and roll it here then. All right, so end is plus two. DR for me. Okay, I've got a 1DA here. Oh, I retreated. Okay, I'm going to take ground. And uh, that's it for me. Okay, I'll roll initiative. Us again. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to declare a uh, an assault by Hooker with Heinzelman against. Kemper. Okay. See, he's successful at the assault. Let me put the, the fatigue on first. See if he's successful at the assault. No. Of course, he fails. <laughs> I'm so oh. sorry. <laughs> it is hope. <laughs> uh, initiative. That's the Confederates. Um, Joe? Yeah, I think I can do something with your permission. Yes, please, sir. And I think I'm back in, I think I'm back in the game. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate, I'm going to activate Long Street, but with... Wilcox only. So, um, increasing his fatigue. I'm shifting Long Street to Wilcox with Lee. Oops. How oh, nuts. And now I have to make an extended march roll for Wilcox, and I believe it's a plus one. He's okay. 
Oh, and now is Mark's roll. Six MP. I'm not used to moving these counters around. And I'm moving into Haymarket. And that's it for me. So, an it. Union. Yes. Um... I'll ask Zeke first. Do you want anything? Um, hold on. I, I just got to pull Siegel off here because I think he's on top of my guys. Uh, just so I can look. Um, I guess it depends. If you do give it to me, then I'll attack. <laughs> uh -huh. I get, um, I'll just activate uh, to march then with King. So I'll advance his fatigue here. Okay, here's the roll. So that's three total. Um, I think he has to do an extended march. That is correct. Yeah. Okay, here's his extended march roll. And that's a fail because he's an... No. Is he a Army of the Potomac? No, he's an Army of Virginia, so that's plus two. One for the... So he, he, he flips. Okay. So then... Um, now, if I'm already disorganized and I were to move cross ground to 3021, does anything additional happen? No. Okay. Um, that's what I'll do then. Bring him here. Um, that's it for McDowell then. I'll roll the initiative. Um, I'll bring uh, Kearney up with moving with Heitzelman. Okay, see how far he goes. Going to fatigue level two. See how far he goes. Four becomes a five. He'll move to there. And roll an initiative. That's the Confederates. Joe, can you go one more time? Yes. Um, Anderson. Oh, nice. Seven. And now his, ex his extended march. Oh, boy. Disorganized. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but I'm just going to put Siegel back in the hex he was in before I moved him out. Oh, I didn't realize he's still there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm done. Rolling it. Revs again. Um, Stuart. Uh, poor Ken, uh, can you do something good, sir? Absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and buy time, and I'll bring F. Lee up. Two dice, six move. That's plus one. Yep. 
and I'll roll in it. Success. Back to you, Clyde. Can you go once more? Copy that. I'll activate the whole wing. Movement roll. Uh, fatigue roll for Ifley. Good. All right, and I have... Uh, now, this is steward activation, so that is plus three in this scenario? Yes. Thank you. I think he needs an extended march roll. I rolled it. He, he rolled it. My bad. Sorry. And assuming these guys, uh, can I move them in as a stack? Or do you want me to move them individually? They can go as a stack. Thank you. I'll hold there. Thank you. In it. All right. Um, Joe, you have one more thing you want to do? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Um, okay. I'm going to activate Long Street again, but this time only with Hood. And shift him to Hood. With Lee. Hood goes up to fatigue level four. So first is March roll. That's five with Long Street. But now here's, here's his extended march roll, which I think is plus three. Because he's exhausted and at fatigue level four. So here it is. So that becomes a six. <clears throat> he loses one manpower value. Oh no, he's just disorganized. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, so I can do a prepared on Siegel. The ratio is five to two or plus one. The prepared is plus one. The tactical is plus two. And the artillery is minus one. So it's a plus three overall. Here we go. Is, it, is there a lead bonus here? Only for an assault, I believe. Oh, this is a march? This is a march, yeah. So that's a plus four result on C. Yes, plus four. Okay. So that's a DR, for you, D capital R for you, and an FB for me. Not that useful.
Okay, so for the retreat, I'll come right back through uh, Reynolds, then on to road here. All right, I'll, I'll end there. And no advance for me, so I'll roll for the next initiative. It's revs again. Um, are you done, Joe? I am. All right, Jackson, are you done? Actually, yes. Thank you. Um, Stuart, are you done? I think I'm good. Thank you. Uh, Ken, uh, Mr. Lee, we'll have a pass. Hey, uh, John O'Day, our savior. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, I just bit off a mouthful of sandwich. Uh, I will move uh, round first. Our, our army is losing a battle, and you're having lunch. I don't know what this says. Well, I'm, I'm falling out of my chair. Lunch, lunch never stops. Okay, uh, Reynolds, uh, rolling. Oh God. I guess that's enough, though. Okay, initiative. We're going to pass, tonight. I think, Clad. Yes, sir. John, go ahead again. Okay. Uh, Porter and his whole stack there. Now, is this a fourth march? Uh, nah, nah, nah. All right, Porter and his staff. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll start with uh, Pyatt, however you say his name. Three, four, five. Six, seven. Uh, Sykes. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Newell with Porter. We'll move to the same hex. And Sykes, who will have to come up uh, one short. Uh, initiative. Oh my goodness! Us oh, again. John. Right now, I'm not sure what to do. Here. So while John's thinking about what he's doing, um, just for future reference, what we generally do this is what Alberto used to do in, in, when we played in Spain for a grand assault. What happens is the corps commander would declare the assault, and then if the army commander wants to bring in a grand assault, that's his decision, not the original corps commander. So. Okay. I'm going to move uh, Porter again. Roll for movement points. Uh, 
that's five. And Sykes will just follow, follow up. Uh, actually, what Sykes will do He'll move there to three. And Stewart might have a choice here. How many remaining points do you have? Uh, two. I'll retreat. Cav retreat roll. Is that for the whole stack or individually? Uh, the I whole think stack. The stack, yeah. Goodness. One, two, three, four, two, three. So we'll roll the initiative. It's ours again, and I will give it uh, to John. Porter and his two uh, units. Yes, three are all going. All, all three of them going in. Uh, there's only two that are next to Kemper. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Morel and Pia. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So okay. I'll increase their uh, fatigue first. Roll for the assault. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. And, and I we suppose will... we're going to do a grand assault. The grand Absolutely. assault. Absolutely. Okay, so I'll roll the Grand Assault for Pope. Of course. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're going in alone. All right, where's where's my buddies? Not They're not holding lunch against me, are they? <laughs> okay, so the odds are... <laughs> uh, it's going to be one-to-one. -one. Correct. Uh, I've got... Four or uh, well, the leadership is nothing. Yes, sir. Uh, artillery is probably going to be nothing. I got four to two. It looks like that's a zero. Oh my god! Uh, so it looks like just a plus one. Yeah, I don't think we have a flank either. Oh, no, sir. No, no flank. Okay. Shoot. Got to have five before the back outs. Did you get a plus one for the assault? Right. That's that's yep. That's plus one. For. Yep. That's, okay. Yeah, that's the plus one. All right, I'm going to, if it's okay, I'm going to roll a single dice each time. <laughs> okay. I don't trust that double dice thing no more. <laughs> so, so who are you rolling for first? First roll is uh, us, U.S. U.S. Go ahead. Pat. That's a Clyde. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> so much for being my friendly neighbor. Oh, crap. That's Okay. Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to play work, so plus two. <laughs> uh, plus two, so the defender is one DR. Wow, we get a point. Uh, Joe, are you, you guys on top of this? Who? Uh, Joe. Oh. Um, Right. I'm retreating camper right now. Yes, sir. I, just, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Just checking on you. Shit. And he took a loss, right? He did. It's not okay. a route, Joe. What? It's not a route. It's just a retreat. I want to go four hexes, though, because I want to get near Groveton. Okay, good point. Good point. All right, I took our loss. 
Looks like I looks like we are a one DA. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that wasn't exactly what I wanted, but what the hell. And I don't think we... Uh, oh, I, I go to F4 uh, also, correct? That's right. Yep. I said that, but I had the mute. I had the mic on mute. And... Uh, Ken, what do you think? Advance here? I don't. That looks like advancing into the into the maw there. Take the hex. Oh boy! <laughs> All right. Somebody want to roll for uh, initiative? Did, did you take the hex? Yep. Yep. Just did. Yeah. I'll, I'll roll for the net. Confederates. Can we have um, Mr. Jackson go, please? Okay. So uh, who has the init and who's moving? Uh, you have the rebels. The Jackson. Yes. I think, I think Jackson's going to go. Is that right? He just rolled a five, so I'm saying he's moving somebody. And it, yep. <laughs> Tolliver is going to make a prepared attack on fighting Joe Hooker. Bring so it on. here's an extended march roll. That's a good thing. Okay. Hooker has nine. And Tolliver has 10, so there's no tactical. There's plus one for the prepared attack. Um, Jackson's four against Hooker's two is plus two. I don't think there's any flank, is there? There's, there's a, a one. The, there's plus a one, one because he has a flank refuse marker, so it's, it's a plus four attack. So here goes the well, plus hang, hang, hang on, hang on. I've got artillery. Right, it's I'm a, I've got a t artillery p potential t artillery modifier I think right. Okay. Yeah, we need a die roll. Yeah, I'll roll a die for the artillery. Go ahead. My feel on that. So what's the attack? It's plus four. Plus four. Okay, go ahead. Here's the roll. Ah. Comes out as plus three. Okay. Okay. Um, plus three, I've got nine guys, which means one DR, one DR for me, and I'm gonna lose. And, um, I think, can, can I retreat to Heinzelman's hex? No. You're not getting further away from the active unit. Yes, but isn't that my option on a retreat priority? Of retreat, I'm down to retreat priority four, because both, both, both hex. If I go to here, if I go to where Porter is first, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's not going to cost me a retreat loss because it's but the next two. one does. <clears throat> okay. But then if I go to, oh yes, yeah, so I go from into the next hex because that's not That one's not farther, away. so you take a loss. Yeah, okay. Um, so Because you're I still want? in a ZOC. Yeah. If you weren't in a ZOC, you could go to chart two and you'd be okay. Yeah. okay. You can't so go to chart two for the first four in a big R. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, decrease, I'm going to lose two strength points, right? And yes, now... Sir gonna retreat uh, Ken you see you see Ken's uh, idea was to I think go the other way and where you are gonna lose somebody but oh I think that's where you're going sorry. yeah that's where I'm going okay. okay that's one two three and I think I'll continue to there for 
Boo. Didn't All right, want to so lose. We have, hang so on. I have you down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hang can, on. Can hang I have on. You down? Okay. I'll wait. Excuse me. I think I want to go the other way, though. I need Pope around. So if I go there first, then I go there, and I lose one for there, right? Yep. It's a loss no matter what direction yeah. you go. Yeah. So Okay. So I'll, I'll stay there. Isn't this a big R retreat? You have to retreat four hexes on column one. No, it's, it it's was a, a little three. retreat. It's oh, a little I'm retreat. sorry. I didn't look at the chart. Silly me. Okay. And I show you with one manpower loss total. Is that correct? The Tolliver? Um, no, no. For you, for you, for your guy. Um, Hooker. I lost. I lost two. Two. Okay. One for the combat and one for the retreat. Ken, I'm just pointing out on retreat part, chart two, your priority two there. You, you are in a friendly hack, so you should be able to get the manpower back. Yeah. And did Tolliver lose anything? No, he gained a no, fatigue. He's a, he did gain an extra fatigue. Okay. And I take the advance, Jackson. I have an advance, I mean, and I, I haven't moved Ewell's division either. Okay. Did you did you act? We didn't hear you. Did you activate them both? Yes, I did. Okay. Please continue. All right. Here's um, Ewell's march roll, extended march roll. Pardon me. That concludes my initiative. Thank you for your patience. Can you roll for the initiative? Yes. Can I think we're all done? Okay. Um, I'm going to declare a, an assault with... Uh, Kearney, Heinzelman, he's going to assault with Kearney. So Heinzelman goes up by one. Um, uh, Kearney goes up by one. See if he gets the assault in. <laughs> he fails. Okay, initiative. Are you passing again, Clyde? Uh, yes, sir, we are. Okay, we're going to try this one more time. So now Kearney's going up to four. See if he gets the assault in. Gets the assault in. Pope will attempt a grand assault. Finally. Okay. So, um, let's see who gets to go in here. What, how, how big are you? Five? And five and two uh, artillery, right? So, we got 12 with Reynolds. The uh, Ferraro, the 2032. And so 32 on five. I'll bring in everybody. So uh, Ferraro will come in, fatigue one more. I'll fatigue Reynolds one more. And so once again, I have. I already did Reynolds. He goes back to two. I'll fix that. I got it. Okay. So. Um, so once again, I have 13, 20, 32, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah. 30, sorry, 12. And 12 and 7 is 19. 32. And, and 13, right? 30, 32. Yep. Okay. 32 on 5. So first of all, I've got a plus... Three surround, so that's a plus three. Your artillery modifier. I have four, six, and four is thirty-two five. Yep, six one. Six to one, so that's five more. That's ten. Okay. Tactical modifier brings it down one to nine. 
Okay. Uh, that's a plus nine attack. Do you concur, Joe? I do. Sadly, okay. yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to roll. Uh, uh, I'm going to use both dice here. So plus nine for the union. Oh, my. Okay. Well, we still got you out of the hex. So that's a minus four. It's a plus five, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Two DR from me. Okay. So I'll take those station. If he is, I wouldn't. I I can't tell. I took one off it off of uh, Kearney. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So I will. Uh, uh, you know what? I I think we got to advance in there. So Reynolds will join up. Okay. And then the ninth core is Jeff. Do you want to advance in? Oops. Yeah, Ferraro will advance as well. Okay, uh, hold on. I, my guys didn't move right. All right, there we go. Okay. And um, I guess, does Pope have to go in? Uh, I, uh, if he's with Hooker, I don't think so, but I might be wrong. Well, he was on the he was on the stack with all three of the guys. He does not have to be attached to a core guy. Okay, so he'll stay where he is. Okay, and Ferraro, Jeff, do you want to move in? Yeah, Ferraro will advance. Okay. Man, all of a sudden things are looking looking bright. <laughs> John, you are an optimist. So, do you well, want? I got, a, I got a turkey sandwich in. So yes. <laughs> so do you want me to move him in, Jeff, or do you want to move in? Uh, you can move him, kid. Okay, initiative. That's Union John. You're yours. I still got Banks down here. Forgot all about yeah. it. All right, well, he's moving. Uh, both units, obviously. Yeah. Six to there. All right, one, two, three, four. Five of my six up against uh, F. Lee for a cab retreat, maybe. I got one movement point left. I got six guys. I'll stand. Yeah. Shit. Thank you, sir. This probably wasn't a good good idea. Uh. Nah. All right, he's done. I will uh, roll for initiative. Uh, Confederates. Joe, you have one more thing you want to do, sir? Yes. Uh, Dr. Jones, movement roll. He's just going to move one X. Uh, extended march is going to be plus one. He's okay. He's just going to slide into 3321. And I'm done. I'll roll for a knit. Union. John? All right. Uh, Banks again. Both units. Uh, I'll start with Williams. Uh, Lee? 
again. Or Stewart. Did you roll it? Did you roll for a two for movement? Uh, yeah, two for movement. Okay. So three. So total of three. No, you can't because no. you can't be activated by Vanks. Why not? Because zone of, zone zone of control. Of control. Uh, all right. Well, what what should I? Uh, I I'll roll with Williams. Will be yeah. The I guy. just okay. So still Williams. Yeah. So Stewart has. Uh, I got three movement points. I'll start marching. We're doing something. I'll stand. Yeah. Uh, well, this time it'd be a normal attack. Yeah, this was stupid to get in this jam, but... All right, so I already raised his fatigue. And he will do a... Uh, he'll spend two for a, uh, a normal attack. So... So artillery is uh, not applicable here? Is that right? So it's just a plus two. Anybody? Or wait, uh, yeah, plus two. The the uh, leadership is the same. Yes. And uh, I'm going to do the two die separate again. Top one is uh, U.S. Oh, man. <laughs> plus one. Uh, we D, lose one. Yeah, D for the the Rebs and... All right. Well, that was that was super stupid. Let me uh, roll for initiative. Right? We ready? Yep. CSA. Um, we're gonna pass and have our own turkey sandwich. <laughs> Go ahead, John. All right, Banks. God damn it. Uh, Banks is gonna leave his guy behind there, so it'll be uh, green. Uh, ooh. All right, so I got seven movement points. All right, Mr. Lee. <laughs> I'm fixated on that dude for some dumb reason. But All right, one, two, three, four. Four of seven. I got three left. Yep, Can? we'll skedaddle. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, make the roll. Get a one. Oh, man. Doesn't change anything on him. And then now assist on the retreat. It looks like I'll have to go to 3403, or can I go to 3404? 3403. You can go to 3404. It's a zone of control, though. It's But it's along a road. Do I have to stay on the road, or could I step here? Once you, you can, you, you've already moved four, right? Let's go one, two. Once you move four, you can go two any which way you want. You just cannot close the the distance. I'm still within range of Stewart. I'll I'll go hey there. Hey guys, hey guys, just FYI, the priority one is follows a road uh, that is not Zoc. Priority two is it's does not, not follow. Yes, so priority two period. is. Yeah, it's got, he's got to go to the clear space first. 3403 is the first hex. And then, and then 3504. Well, now he has options. He can go to either one. Yeah. That's two. Yeah, now he follows the road three. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Thank so, you, gentlemen. A meaningless... Uh, no, no, but it's the right way. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for that. Okay, that's it for him. Uh, Banks will continue moving. He's got three left, which will get him to Greenwich. And I raised his fatigue already. And uh, initiative. John? Okay, it's ours again. Let me get to Jeff. Jeff, do you have anything you want to do? No, Ken, I think I'm going to 
Shit. I, I, I don't want to move the cab and don't want to move Reno. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, how I... about how about you, Zeke? Hey, um, I'd like to activate one guy. Surely. Okay, um, I'll do McDowell activating let's see what have here. King. So uh rolling march. Then I need to roll an extended march, so that'll be this roll. Okay. Let me raise his fatigue. And I'm just gonna have him join Ricketts right here. That's it for me. Oh, just one second on that that, that extended lose, march. Lose something on the extended march. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it's it's one for the Union. Oh, wait a second. It's one for the Union and one for the uh, Army of Virginia. That's only a plus two, Joe. So that'd be a but plus five. But he's also five. He's, no, he's he's exhausted. Exhausted. He's all exhausted. He's exhausted. Yeah. So it's a, right. So one for the fatigue level makes plus three. Okay. So take a manpower loss on. Yes. Okay, applied. Okay, I'll roll initiative. You passing, Clyde? Oh, long okay. Street says pass. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, John, do you have anything else you want to do? No. How about you, uh, Zeke? Uh, nothing from me. Jeff? No, nothing for me. Okay, let me just check one more thing here. He's gone. I'm done as well. Okay, so we pass. So, who's ever the subordinate is, are you guys passing too, Joe? Yes, sir. I'm oh, sorry. I'm on, I'm on mute. Sorry. I'm glad. Yeah. Okay, so that's the end of day one. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. Day. What a what a fun day. Why don't everybody um, want to take about, go ahead and reorganize the units and we'll just take like a, a 10 minute break here and we'll do the recovery. Okay. I, yes, I save the game. I'll do the recovery. Okay. I think we got it. Okay. Okay. Let's take a, uh, like a five minute break here. So five or 10 minute break and we'll come back. Okay. All right. How do we? How do we? How do we go for turn two orders? How does that? How do you want to do that, Ken? Uh, if you want to type something up from between now and then, you can. Yes, sir. Okay. So we'll give you, give right. you a few minutes to do that. I'm going to take a a bio break and just give me something to eat real quick, and I'll be back. Okay.